Hello and welcome back all my Dragon Ball theorists and after the fight of Hit vs Jiren I read many comments asking how come Hit didn't improve to defeat Jiren or he never used his improvement ability at all. To clear this all up first he did improve during the fight and we're going to go over why it had little to no effect and the outcome was still Hit being eliminated. On paper we were thinking going into this epic battle that Hit could just constantly improve to match Jiren and eventually overcome him. However in any fight there are two significant factors speed and power. Hit does have abilities that can bypass speed since he has his time skip, which is why he was able to defeat Vegeta in Super Saiyan Blue as he wasn't able to see Hit's movements or figure out his technique. Then Goku with knowledge of this attack figured out his time skip and he was able to predict his movements and defeat them while only in base form. Goku then said let's see if you can keep up with my speed and Hit did fight on par for a moment with Goku not using his time skip but eventually was outmatched. Hit then knowing this is my limit, leaving only one option left of course to finally improve. We were all shocked as we thought the Saiyans had this ability on lock with Zenkai boost after a fight, except Hit can do it mid-battle instantly improving and he did it several times against Goku, even after he used his Kaioken times 10 Hit was able to surpass it and avoid his attack. So why were the results so very different against Jiren? First, let's understand that Hit was beyond Goku at first, then only after Goku figured out his time skip and combined that with power and speed did it force Hit to improve and surpass him. So in this fight, they were about the same and kept going back and forth trying to surpass each other. In the fight against Jiren, whether you want to accept this or not, Hit's power and speed are worlds apart from his. Even Ultra Instinct Goku was only able to keep up with Jiren in speed and land only one blow on him. So when Hit tried all his techniques to close the gap on Jiren, they were of no use. Also, we have to keep in mind Hit's statement of how heavy Jiren's attacks were, and these were the ones that Goku felt. Jiren's power is exponentially above where Hit is at, so realizing how far away Jiren was from where he currently is at meant he had only one option left, to improve enough to land his special attack and freeze him in time. Jiren was causing massive damage to Hit because of the force behind his blows, but did manage to block most of their damage as Kaba pointed out saying that he was up to something. So when Hit was down, just like when he was the first time against Goku, he set up Jiren and used his ability to improve and bypass his attack to land a blow right to his heart, trapping him. The reason why Hit saw the only option of freezing him is because of the difference in power and speed in Jiren is too much to overcome. The attacks from Jiren are so heavy and cause so much damage, it doesn't give Hit the chance to improve that much to make a difference. To put it another way, if we gave Yamcha the ability to instantly improve, he would stand no chance against Goku in a fight. You see, Yamcha would get beaten to a pulp before for being able to improve thousands of times to even start to catch up to Goku. As the Supreme Kai had said, there's no way about it, Jiren is just strong, plain and simple, probably hundreds of times stronger than Hit, and the only way he knew he could overcome that much of a gap in power was to seal him in time, except as we saw, even that plan wasn't enough against Jiren. Remember the two things that are important in a battle, speed and of course power. Hit didn't have enough power to keep Jiren sealed. Any technique can be overcome if your power is massive enough to make it irrelevant. Which is why, even if Hit could have used an assassination technique in a fight against Jiren, it wouldn't work, as Hit wouldn't have the required power with his attacks to Jiren's vitals to even damage him. With that said, I do love Hit and there is unlimited potential for this character in the future, it's just he still has to improve a lot before he can stand up to fighters like Ultra Instinct Goku or Jiren. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I want to hear from you in the comments below. And I do try to read all of them, but sometimes with YouTube, it is easy to miss a comment, so just want to let you know that you can of course send me messages on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that like button and please subscribe to support the channel and keep those theories coming.